<laughs> hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome to our Suicide Squad video. <laughs> this is take two, because uh, OBS didn't hit record, so... <laughs> they were like, no. Um, you gonna talk shit about Suicide Squad? Nope. <laughs> we are really excited for Suicide Squad, because Suicide Squad directed... James Gunn is one of our favorite directors to watch well i like he's um i like him a lot i don't yeah. know favorite because you guys are just think about that i like james gunn's work yes yes we are big james gunn fans of his work gunn's fan. um yeah the suicide squad the original movie as bad as it was it got our first dog shit on the it, we recreated the dog shit award for suicide squad <laughs> um what? But I'm, hell, I, th there's only I've only created one rating below dog shit, and we haven't hit that mark, and that's minus five stars. Yeah, <laughs> so we haven't hit minus five stars yet. But the actors playing in this version of Suicide Squad, and the fact that it's directed by James Gunn, has our interest. We are intrigued, and I'm honestly a bit excited for it, just because this team is. 16 people when you don't count the leaders and 12 of them are probably going to die in five minutes <laughs> well no not five minutes it's a two-hour movie so they're gonna i give it 30. no they're gonna they're gonna extend it out because you know you gotta keep you gotta at least keep some people around okay can we okay? just agree pete davison is probably going to be within the first five minutes <laughs> 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 okay. well, we'll go to the entire cast because yeah like so, you've already admitted you don't like the first one. I fucking hate the first Suicide Squad movie. I cannot... I can sit through any other DC film. Even the Joel Schumacher, Batman and Robin, I can sit through that. I cannot sit through fucking Suicide Squad. Okay. I hate it that much. I, I can sit through the... Uh, I can sit through Batman and Robin as well. Um, but, we have Amanda Waller, played by uh, Viola Davis. Um, Davis. She is excellent. I like her character. As a, Amer I, I like Amanda, Amanda Waller. Waller. I hated her character because the, the first movie basically admits that everything that's pretty much has gone wrong is her fault. Yeah. And they're basically fixing her mess. Yes. Um, you have uh, Joel Kinnaman. First of all, if I mispronounce someone's name, my bad. Um, We're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're my sorry. Bad. Uh, <laughs> he's playing Rick Flagg. Um, those two are probably safe. If anybody dies, I think it will be Rick Flagg. Um, maybe well because i just hope they give something to, for rick flag to fucking do because that man was milk toast with a side of dry bread <laughs> in the first movie uh he was basically just the puppy of an enchantress um yeah you have rooker as savant um dead i'm calling it now uh, okay so i'm not i'm not going to declare who's dead and who's not i okay i think I'm just Rooker's dead. General thought. the way they were joking about rooker in the panel i think they'll kill rooker but i think what they'll do is they'll give rooker like one of those oh shit deaths mm -hmm. like that was badass as fuck do it again yeah <laughs> um I, I, this dude's borg uh he was in pitch perfect too i believe um oh the, the the swedish guy yes he's playing javelin um you dead. of course you have Fucking dead you of course you, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry if you thought javelin man was gonna fucking make it to the end he was gonna throw the ultimate javelin of super of kryptonite to stop the evil i'm sorry we can only have two people who throw olympic sports we already have boomerang <laughs> um of course you have margot so, robbie so he, so here's the thing about Jeff Margot Robbie's fucking safe because they're they've invested too much in Harley Quinn to fucking kill her off. But her new look is excellent. I love it. It's it is great. it is fantastic. Jive Courtney. So here's the thing about Jive Courtney. I see them killing Jive Courtney. I'm gonna be pissed because Jive Courtney's the best damn thing about that first movie. <laughs> just the fact that he just walked in oh oh shit <laughs> and walked out. <laughs> um no no my favorite was like th my favorite scene of that entire movie is there's a gunfight going around and he's just around with a stuffed unicorn <laughs> <and a> fucking... <laughs> all right so um i do really love harley quinn's new look 
Um, I feel like they had her do a in this little behind the scenes. I do, yeah. I I liked the setup for the action that they were giving her. Um. So Harley Quinn, I'm really interested yeah. in seeing. Um, her. I, I. She was decent in Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey. Um, I did enjoy parts of the Har- Harley Quinn in there. Um. For, okay, so Birds of the Prey, she was the best part of Birds of the Prey. But Birds yeah. of the Prey is a good movie, but it's the characters are kind of weak. Yeah. Like, Ian McGregor was great, because he kind of stole every scene he was in. Yes. You know? Um, you have David Dastmalanchin. <laughs> good God, I know I pronounced that one wrong. <laughs> As Polka Dot Man. He is... Oh, yeah. He is one of... Uh... <laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the shot they showed of him just taking the polka dots and throwing them. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Uh, if you don't know who that is... Uh, he is... It's a 1970s <laughs> film. And I'm sorry, but this is the one film where looking at all the cut shots, I'm looking at the costume design of Nikki. You all look fucking <laughs> stupid. Um, basically, he Why is... He wants Polka Dot Man to stay in the end. Oh, I do too. Um, I want him to survive. I kind of do. Um, <laughs> But uh, he is played by the guy who he he's one of the people who works it with Ant Man in the security business. He's the one who kept oh. saying uh, "truth serum" in Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh yeah, who uh, who does he play? I I don't know his name, but uh, I just know he's the truth serum guy in uh, mm-hmm. in Ant Man and Wasp. All right, you have right. Danella. I'm not even going to try. As Ratcatcher 2. Not Ratcatcher. Ratcatcher 2. <laughs> so what happened to the first one? <laughs> Probably her father. Probably. But wouldn't you call it Junior instead of 2? <laughs> no, because you honor the legacy. Okay. Um, I- I'm curious to see how they use Ratcatcher. Um, then you have... Idris. I, I do, mm, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna hate that because I have I have a phobia of mice and rodents. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be bad. So I can just... Oh, it's going to be... Because you know there's going to be that one scene where they're in, like, a dark tunnel, and there's just a <laughs> swarm that come out, and I'm like, this this is hell. This is hell. Nope. Mm-mm. You have Idris Elba as Bloodsport. Um, I see him surviving. And they said that he is in prison for shooting Superman with a kryptonite bullet. So that is interesting. That, I, okay, so I, I see... <laughs> So here's the thing. I see them keeping Bloodsport alive just to the fact that if Will Smith ever comes the fuck back, it can be a Bloodsport versus Deadshot on who has the better fo- who who has the better firepower. Yep. Um, which would be really interesting to see if Will Smith came back to play his actual act, his actual character instead of playing Will Smith. Um, then you have Nathan Fillion as TDK. Um, I have no idea what the fuck that total death kill. I assume so. Probably. Um, you have which is I see him dying. I love Nathan Fillion, but I see I him love dying. Nathan Fillion a lot. I see him. Yeah. Dying. Um, you have Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. I'm fucking boy. I know, and the fact that he made it a appearance on the Wanted poster in uh, in Birds of Prey and Harley Quinn goes, "Hey, I know that guy." Um, that was awesome. Um, you have Pete Davidson as Blackguard. My man's dead. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's just dead. They, he didn't even get picked. They were playing a panel, a game on the panel. Um, no, he didn't get picked. He didn't well, get picked. So here's the thing. So if you noticed a lot of these so far, unlike the last Suicide Squad, where you could literally see like why each individual person was picked, there's a lot of these dudes who they're kind of the same. You, you, there, there's no like we're getting, like when we get like. Like when we get to John Cena's character, what is the difference between him and Idris Elba's Bloodsport character? One's a douchier person. Um, yeah, you have Sean Gunn as Weasel, which they actually showed what Weasel looks like. It's creepy as hell. Um, it, and I'm like, 
with the fu- <laughs> like, I love the fact that James Gunn was like, okay, yeah, we already showed the well-known. Give, give me no, no, I no, don't give me the B tier. Give me the C plus D tier. <laughs> That's who I want. I'm curious to see if Ratcatcher can fucking control Weasel as Mongol. Mongol, which is interesting. That's really interesting because they could set up Mongol the. Uh, they could set up an actual Mongol storyline for a possible Superman movie. Yes. Um, and, he, and he could have the thing that, like, well, your plan is the reason that my sister got killed. Yeah. It'd be interesting as hell. There, there's a lot of setup here that could really be played out into the future with DC. Yeah. Um, you have my man, Peter Capaldi, as the thinker. Um, hey, look, okay, as long as it's better than the fucking Flash's thinker, you, you're, you're already doing... You're okay. already, you see, you, 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 you here's the thing. You're already doing better because you have Peter Capaldi playing the thinker, so. And you're already doing better because the costume actually so, looks like the thinker. So, I see him dying. But uh, unfortunately, I yes. I don't see him dying because of the mission. I see him dying because of, one, his own incompetence, even though he's supposed to be the smartest man, or someone fucking him over. Yeah. I see him dying because someone fucking him over because of their own incompetence or him being, well, I'm the smartest man. I could, I'm getting over cocky and I could think 20 moves ahead. I'll just ally with these people, you know? Yeah. And unfortunately, I would love, you know, like, I like, would oh, you... love to see him survive in order to go yeah. up against the flash. Well, yeah. And it's, it's also one of those to where it's like, cause you know, Waller's going to be like, well, you've got that detonator chip and the thinker is going to be like, do you think that shit, I can rewire, hotwire that and be done within like five fucking minutes. Yeah. You know? Um, then you have Alice something as soul Soraya. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna like assume I said, dead. Like I said, this was James. Like I said, this was James Gunn not reaching for B tier, but like C to C plus tier. I'm just gonna say dead. Um, you have John Cena as Peacemaker, which is AKA douche Captain America. Um, so either Wait. Idris Elba or John Cena is surviving. I don't see both of them coming out of this movie. I don't either. So. I'm sorry, all I keep thinking of is the fucking uh, Colonel character from Punisher. Yeah. When I think of Peacemaker. Um, you have Storm Reed as Talia, who is ba- who is Idris Elba's daughter. I, I see. So, like, uh, so that's another reason why I'm really more towards Idris Elba living is because I see her dying and him living to try to, you know, be a better person for her sake you know all right you have general mateo suarez um i don't know who that is uh i don't know who he is he sounds like um, i can see him dying because it's like he sounds like a dictator and i really don't think (laughs) uh then you have uh but i see so i see i see with the general then probably bringing up the idea of a really good of like if this is a war film they're gonna need some like him and the thinker combining together of like well you're smart i know how to actually lead people yeah you know it's like or him constantly clashing with you know rick of like well you say you're a leader but it's like i was a yeah well, you were a dictator right but i still knew how to lead a country you can barely lead a misfit group yeah you know uh jennifer holland as amelia uh harcourt um not sure who that is as well but um it's this is a big ass team. This team is. Yes. You're going to probably get maybe five people survive. If that. If that. You'll get. You'll get a guaranteed two. Yes. Harley okay. Quinn and Amanda Waller. Like. Yeah. If they um, kill Amanda Waller, that is some balls. I see them killing. They'll. They'll have no problem killing Brooke Hunter. Like, yeah. they'll have no problem killing yeah. him. Yeah, Rick is uh, dead. I don't I don't if... see them or or I what I see them doing is I see them doing the like the fake out of like the team learning that once again it was all Waller, so whoever survives, like there's an end credit scene of her sitting in the office and like someone tries to take a bullet in her head and oh well she faked her death, you know? Mm-hmm. Cause that would totally be an Amanda Waller thing to do. Yeah, hands down. Um 
it this is very interesting suicide squad is one of <laughs> my most anticipated dc movies <laughs> It's uh, it's got me the oh and King Shark yes King Shark. King Shark King Shark uh, he, he for some reason he's not on the list I pulled up um oh. we do have King Shark which I just loved King Shark anyway from the beginning of the little show thing well, behind so the scenes so here's the thing I know King Shark's gonna I know King Shark's gonna fucking die yeah but all I want from King Shark is I want some graphic gory fucking kills. Mm-hmm. Like, I want you to start ripping people off and tearing them limb from limb. Mm -hmm. That's what I want for King Shark. Um, now, here is one request. For Suicide Squad mm -hmm. 3. For the love of God, can we get Condiment Man? <laughs> I just want to see Condiment Man. I want to see a live action Condiment Man. Because it would be the funniest I shit ever. Or, or even if you don't do Condiment Man, I see them doing Condiment Man for, for like a Lego Batman movie. Get someone like Firefly from the Batman's Rogues, or get like Toy Master, mm -hmm. you know? Or fuck it, start pulling from like Blue Beetles fucking uh, Rogues. Like, st stop pulling from the Trinity. Yeah, no. and that's sort of the, the issue we got right here, is that the main I would I would say the Trinity and Flash, those are the main people that are being pulled for the Suicide Squad. Do you squad. know how fucking cool it would be, how f fucking badass it would be, is if in this movie this is how you got to the introduction of Sinestro? Yeah, like instead of the actual Green Lantern movie, this is how you were introduced to Sinestro. There's so they won't do it because they want to actually save it for the Green Lantern movie. Yeah. Or like, hey, what if this is how you were introduced to Black Adam? It's awesome that they are branching out into all these different areas for DC. I honestly am a lot more excited for the DC stuff because it's different than the Marvel stuff right now. Um I've I've come to the realization that with Marvel, it's it's taking a bit because they're in a, they're in a transition period. But with Marvel, this generation of superheroes is done for the most part, and they are doing their paperwork to transition into the next generate the next ten year generation of heroes. Yes. Okay, I understand that. DC, I think. They have definitely taken the part of people criticizing them of, hey, do not try to do a fucking multi. Don't try to do a universe. Stop trying to be Marvel. Do your own thing. And they're like, okay, we'll just make multiple universes and put Versus, them together. Which I don't know how I, that we, only time will tell. On yeah, that. we have to see the execution and how it plays out. Yeah, I am very intrigued by all the stuff that DC is doing because it's interesting. It's different. Interesting. Marvel, for the most part, it's just, it's a fucking transition period. Because but it still has the same formula. They're... Yeah. They're, they're not really doing anything new. Even the TV shows are no, not going to be I... new. No, and it's like, yes, I get it. You're, you're setting up for the next Spider-Man and the next Captain America and the next Iron... No, you're not going to set up for the next Iron Man and, you know, the next leader of this person or the next this person, but it's still a fucking formula. And I get it. It's a formula that sells. It makes you billions. Yes. Okay? But I'm so tired of reading interviews from, from Marvel, from Feige or producers or whatnot, that, that they're basically admitting that they know the formula exists and that, oh, we're doing everything we can and we're trying to mix things up. But you're not. It, it it's, it's not. Um, but um, we would love to know what your thoughts and comments are for Suicide Squad. Who do you think is dead first? Who is your favorite out of the list of here of people on this team? Um, and why is it not Polka Dot Man? <laughs> uh, yes, I'll leave all that in the comments below. Um, we are covering a lot of DC fandom. We're gonna do a video on the Batman next. So, um, 
Make We're going to do a video on the Batman. Black um, Adam, probably. We might do a video on Black Adam. Honestly, that's it. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. There's really nothing else that's like, eh. It, I'm going to be cautious with the Snyder Cut. I, I want to see what they release from that. I, I, would, I think I might actually just watch the Snyder Cut and then do it. I don't want to watch any trailers or previews yeah. or anything. Because I want to see, was this actually worth doing a secondary cut? Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Later. Later.